Hello everyone, Squid of Baconator here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be talking about two animated shows instead of just one for this video. I didn't really have enough to say on both of these shows to really warrant making two videos on them, so I decided to combine them into one video. The shows I'll be talking about today are OKKO, OK Let's Be Heroes, and DuckTales 2017. I'm mainly doing this to cover all the new animated shows from each network. I already talked about Welcome to the Wayne in my last video, and now I'll be talking about the new shows from Cartoon Network and Disney XD. Now, as you probably already guessed, after seeing the title of this video, you can see that I think one of these shows is bad, and I think the other one is good. Now, before I begin, I need to stress that I have not seen much from either of these shows. I only saw the first two 11-minute episodes of OKKO, OK and I only saw the first special from DuckTales. So my opinions here are mainly just first impressions. The bad show could improve and the good show could get worse. Both of these shows are still early on in their run, and my opinion could change over time. But for now, this is how I feel on these shows. We'll start off with the one that I think is bad because I bet you guys are more curious about that one. So the animated show I think is bad is... Okay, KO. What? I'm sorry, but from what I've seen so far, there isn't really much for me to like about this show. Outside of maybe one or two things. Pretty much the whole time I was watching these two episodes, I was like... Hmm, I wonder what I'll have for lunch today. From all the praise I've seen given to this show, I'm inclined to call it overrated in my eyes. And the three parts of the show that contribute to that are the characters, animation, and humor. Most of the characters don't really leave much of an impact on me at all. I just don't really have any interest in them or get any enjoyment out of seeing them. They're just there. With the exception of two characters, one of whom I'll get to later. But for now, let's talk about the one who really ruins the show for me. And that would be K.O., our main character. I really don't like this kid. This kid is really annoying in just about everything he does and says. I don't understand why any of these characters would like having him around. And yes, I get quite a few kids do act like this, but that doesn't stop from me thinking he's annoying. He isn't funny, he isn't cute, and he doesn't do anything to give him any redeeming qualities. As it stands right now, K.O. is just a really annoying child character. Instead of giving me a, ah, oh, this kid's great reaction, he gives me more of a type of reaction. As for the other characters, I don't really have anything to say about them. Like I said earlier, none of them really do anything to make me enjoy seeing them, but they don't do anything that makes me hate them. They're just there. Now let's get to the animation. While I don't think it's the worst animation I've ever seen, I still think it's not very good. It just looks kind of sloppy to me, like how much the characters go off model a lot. And I just don't really like how the characters look in this type of style. I also don't like how hard this show tries to be over the top. It feels like it's trying too hard and it ends up looking a little ridiculous. And this problem also leads into the humor. I know this explanation isn't very good, but honestly, I have a hard time trying to understand my problems with the animation. The last major thing that I didn't really like about this show is the humor. I didn't really find very many of these jokes to be even chuckle-worthy. And considering that this is supposed to be a comedy, that's kind of a bad thing. My main issue with most of the comedy is how over-the-top the show is trying to be. It's not really the good type of over-the-top. Instead of coming off as funny, it just comes off more ridiculous. And kind of annoying, because a majority of the time, it's trying to be really over-the-top and really energetic. But it's coming off a little too over-the-top. It's just trying too hard. And that just leads me to not really enjoy most of the humor. Now, like I said, this is only most of the time. There are a couple occasions where I found the over-the-topness of the humor to be pretty enjoyable. Overall, I don't really see why so many people have been enjoying this show so much. Now, before anybody gets too angry, there are a couple things that I think are positives, or I can see other people thinking are good things about the show. From what I've heard and seen of this show, 
There's a lot of references to different video games in this show, and I can see a lot of people liking that aspect of OKKO. OK and being a gamer myself, I should really like this. But since I don't get much enjoyment out of the show, they don't really do too much for me. If you're a gamer and you like the show, then there's something here for you to enjoy. But for me, I really need to enjoy the show first before I can enjoy any references. Oh, and anime too. It takes a lot from anime. Like, holy shit, this show would not exist if it wasn't for anime. But what I just said about the gaming references can also be applied to this anime stuff. So we'll just leave it at that. Except for the fact that I'm not sure the show could even exist at all if it wasn't for anime, so it comes off as incredibly unoriginal. And it doesn't really come off as its homage in anime, it feels like they're just ripping it off. But I'm probably in the minority in this, and I'm sure a lot of you really love the anime stuff in this show, and you probably want to kill me just from saying that. So I'll just move on. Other than that, the only aspect of this show I really like myself is the villain. He's really the only character I actually kind of enjoy. When I first heard him start talking about his motivation behind all of what he's doing, pretty much just hating friendship and all that shit, I just started to think, oh, God, are we really doing this stuff here? This is so fucking stupid. But then this scene helped me realize what was actually going on. Those rotten kids! Still alive. No! I just... <laughs> I now realize the show is trying to do this for comedy, and to give it credit, it did kind of make me chuckle a little and enjoy some aspect of the show. Mainly how over the top this guy is. While I don't really like how over the top most of the things in this show have been, this is one part where I'm kind of okay with it. With all that said, I don't think he's that great. I still find his motivation to be kind of stupid. Even if it's a little funny, it's still pretty stupid if you ask me. And I don't really get why he's focusing all of his attention on this one plaza. It just doesn't really make much sense to me. I get it's probably supposed to sound stupid for comedic effect, but it doesn't really do that much for me. Okay, I still don't think he's all that good. But hey, at least he got me to kinda enjoy watching a part of an episode. So hey, there's something I can praise for this show. But other than him, I can't really think of anything I can call this show good for. In the end, there hasn't really been enough good things for me to praise in this show. For me to warrant calling it good or warrant following this show anymore. But hey, I only saw the first two episodes, so there is a really good chance that the show could improve. A great example of this would be with Steven Universe. I remember when I first watched that show, and I thought it was really stupid and I didn't think it was good at all at the beginning. But the show improved greatly, and I am still a big fan of it. And there's a very good chance that OKKO OK could improve as well. But as it stands right now, I don't think it's very good. Overall, the start of this show could have been a lot better. And speaking of good starts to new shows, let's go into DuckTales 2017. To put it simply, this is how you do a reboot right. Take notes, Cartoon Network. This is something you really need to learn if you want to keep making reboots. Now, before I get any further with DuckTales 2017, I should say that I have never seen the original show. The most I've seen is the theme song and the clips from the Nostalgia Critics review of it. So there isn't any nostalgia or bias influencing my opinion on this show. With all that said, I think this show is great. After this episode, it instantly had me hooked, and I'm really excited to see more episodes from this show. Now, since everybody has already praised this show to death so far, there isn't really too much for me to say on it. But that doesn't mean I can't talk about it a little, so let's go over it. First, there's the animation. I gotta say, I really like this animation. It mixes modern Disney animation with a classic comic book retro type look, and I really like that style. It's kind of similar to the Loud House's style for animation, and it looks very nice in both of these shows. Now, you can tell they're using Flash, and Flash animation gets a bad rep nowadays, mainly because a lot of people use it just because it's cheap, and they use it as an excuse to be lazy with their animation. But not this show. You can tell the animators are putting a lot of effort into the animation, and that's very good to see. We definitely need more animation to put a lot of effort into it. This is great to see, considering how many reboots we've seen just use Flash animation as a cheap way to lazily get episodes out quickly. 
Hopefully the animation continues to stay strong in the future. Then there are the characters, and I really like all of them. They're all nice, entertaining, interesting, and there isn't one of them that I can think is bad or even mediocre. They're all good. And that's something I don't usually see because, in even some of my favorite shows, there is at least one or two characters that I just don't like because I find them annoying or they're unlikable or any other reason. But not any of the characters here, they're all great. And for a first episode of a show, that is really good. And the entertaining characters help lead into the humor, which is also very great. And just about every joke had me at least chuckling, and a lot of them had me just laughing out loud. It'd be very hard and boring for me to just describe them to you, so why don't I just show you a couple clips from the show. See, I'm a bit of a pilot, and uh, oh, okay, divider, there you go. What are your blood types? What's Donald really like? Who's the evil triplet? Louie. Louis. Eh. These couple of jokes are just examples of how funny this show can get. As long as the humor can continue to be very entertaining, the show will be very successful in my eyes. Lastly, there's the plot. I don't really have anything to add to this. All I can really say is, it's good, interesting, and it has me wanting to come back for more. So yeah, DuckTales 2017 is a great show. While OKKO OK does almost everything wrong, DuckTales 2017 does almost everything right. And there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the latest animated shows of 2017. Now I'd like to know what you guys think about these shows. From what we've seen so far of OKKO OK and DuckTales 2017, do you like both of these shows? Do you dislike both of them? Or do you think one's good and one's bad like me? I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, or any ideas on how I could improve my presentation, I'd like to hear that too. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys some other time.